Yuliana Esipenko, a Russian woman streetlifter and boxer, dipped 65 kilos for 8 reps. Even the entire women's roster at this year's Worlds was not able to dip past 63.75, and yet Yuliana is literally dipping more than that for 8 reps. I wonder what this translates to in terms of a 1RM. Comment down below what you guys think she could do, but I'm thinking she could probably dip 85 kilos at minimum. And considering the second strongest dipper is 73 by Lena, 85 would be absolute insanity. Clearly, Yuliana is in a league of her own, and the title for the undisputed number one female dipper right now rightfully belongs to her. Which begs the question, who else can possibly contend for that title? Well, only four women in the world have dipped 70 or more, one I mentioned earlier who is Lena from Norway, but also Marty from Italy, Caro from France, and Juliana from Russia. Marty seems to show signs of being the second strongest dipper with an insanely fast 70.5 kilo dip, but still I think this is well below Juliana's estimated one rep max based on that 65 for 8. Also, because Juliana is a boxer, I wonder how much of her dip strength came from her boxing, specifically her jab or cross, as I don't think a hook or uppercut can carry over as well. The jab, cross, and the dip all have similar pushing patterns, and perhaps the countless repetitions of using both the jab and cross can somehow strengthen a neural pattern that would only help increase weighted dip strength. Maybe this is part of the reason why Yuliana is making some incredible dip progress. And it probably goes the opposite way too. If you wanted to unlock knockout power or increase hand speed, why not increase your weighted dip strength? By progressively overloading your weighted dip strength, you generate more force assuming an increased weight moves at the same velocity. And after all, Force is mass times acceleration. If you wanted to generate the same force for your jabs as you would for your weighted dips, you'd have to dial up the acceleration in your hands by a tremendous amount. And you can even see how much higher the acceleration is when there's hardly any mass with a guy like Artem Shudikov, who has posted multiple times the speed of his hands when he's replicating the dip pattern without being on the dip bars. Imagine if he was a full-time boxer, the speed would multiply. Now, I don't know how good of a boxer Yulian is, but I can almost guarantee you that dip strength definitely came in handy for her fights. And I wouldn't be surprised if many people later on found out that the jab and the weighted dip are interlinked and synergistic with each other. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.